Hello and welcome to the robot course. On every ABB robot there are both motors and brakes. When you turn off the motors it's the brakes that holds the robot in place. It's one brake per axis and these are mono stable because when you turn off the power they will always go back to one position and that is engaged. This is so that the robot doesn't fall over when you turn off the power. Now that you maybe have learned how to jog a robot in the last two episodes, I hope that you probably have crashed if you, if you have tried it. Because if you have crashed with your robot, it might get wedged and won't move. And you will need to disengage the brakes to get it out of the wedged position. On the back of the robot there are a panel, a black panel, um, that have the axis numbered from 1 to 6 and you can, well, you and your friend, you need a friend to do this because one needs to press the button and one needs to hold the, the robot and if you're engaged in any kind of robot wrestling you need to you need to be two persons so if you for example release brake number two then the axis number two will uh, release and you can probably lift up the robot arm so that you can get it out of a pinch. And it's important that you understand that if the brakes fail, then the robot will fall. And if you, you're experienced with dangers in industries, know that if there is a built up force, you're not supposed to don't put, don't put yourself there. So never go beneath the robot, especially not when you release the brakes. And it's quite self-explanatory. You don't want to get killed. Well, that's a bit short episode, but it's an important part of the first learning steps to, to be able to crash without being unable to release the robot from the wedged position. Oh well, thanks for watching.